And that's our first corner of the night. Good play there from uh, Liam Baxter getting the ball forward and now a chance to maybe attack from the corner. Well, the, it's good to see, Ollie, they are attacking, aren't they? Yeah, it's, um, you've got to go for it this early in the season. You don't want to slip up and uh, leave yourself chasing the pack. But they're, they're definitely not defending or holding back. They were, uh, no, look, they're uh, good attacking start from Mornington. Cross comes in. Good goalkeeping. Early chance. Goes down the box. It's a penalty. It's been given as a penalty. It's gone into the back of the attacker. And the rest points into the spot. No hesitation there. <laughs> Referee blows his whistle. Runs up. Oh, a penalty Great. save. Great save from Great Taylor. Save. He played great away at Sydney Park in the FFA Cup, and his form's carried on into the season. What a save. That is a fantastic... And, uh, and now a free kick. Going the Seagulls' way. Ref asking the Malvern player to clear off. There's now a chance for Mornington. So maybe grab the first goal of the game. Played short. Different tactic and it's not going to work. <laughs> haven't, had, haven't had many chances and it's uh, thanks to that defence. Maybe another chance for Mornington. Breaking forward. Three ball. Real chance. Oh, it's oh whiz just missed the cross. Just missed the bar there. But that's a great opportunity for number six. <laughs> Good throw in. Good throw in the header. And it's going to be a free kick. Malvern players not happy about that one whatsoever. Would it be a fair comment, Ollie, that um, Malvern aren't looking uh, particularly well at the ball? They've lost a bit of uh, attention? No, but they've not had much chance on the ball, really. Mornington have held it really well. Uh, they have looked a little nervy, but they haven't had much chance to get the ball because we've held it so well. Cross in, doesn't even clear the first man. Cross his knee to clear the first man. <laughs> Bennett tries to play the ball forward, but uh, the attacker there wasn't on the same page. Played the ball quickly. Good movement by the morning side to switch, uh, switch over. Oh, and poor pass. Oh, Could be a chance here. Break forward. Shot on goal, deflected behind. Take another corner. That is. <laughs> There's enough time for either side to um, to get a goal. You probably say at the moment it's more likely uh, to be Mornington at this point. Approaching the half uh, very shortly. Good play. Can uh, the Mornington play get there? He can't. Went for the slide, and that is a free kick. No contact made. I suppose the intent. He's got. Oh, that's a free kick. It's going to be a yellow card as well. I didn't see much in that. I was prob probably, uh, if the player uh, didn't uh, carry on a bit, I think he would have got off uh, scot free. It will uh, be Malvern in white to kick off, going towards the bay end, uh, Mornington towards the, industri the industrial end. Uh, Malvern obviously in their all white away strip and Mornington in the traditional orange and black and we are all set for the second half. And we are away here in the second half here at Seagull Stadium as Malvern uh, play a ball out wide. Nice one too. Early chance potentially. Ball into the box and uh, Taylor will gather. Uh, gather. <laughs> Uh, Sammy Catherine standing over the ball with uh, with uh, Andre Bennett as well, who will move away. So it's uh, be Sammy Catherine to deliver the ball into the box here. Catherine straightens the wall. I'll try and win the ball back. Um, but good play from Mulvan. Bennett with a good slide tackle. He'll uh, take the ball forward. Good outside of the foot pass out wide. And now a chance. Shot on goal. Now the ninth attempt for Mornington, but didn't really trouble the keeper. Bit of a buzz, haven't they, Ollie? Yeah, yeah, they have. Um, 
They've uh, obviously not long gone in the second half, but uh, they've had the better of it. Is it a corner? Thought it had initially gone out for throwing, but it is a corner. It's whipped in. It's uh, headed away. Tries to shield the ball. Didn't work, and Sammy Catherine can break. That's a, it's probably a yellow card. It's hacked him down, and uh, that's going to be a yellow card deep into the box. Someone needs to win a header. They do. And now a chance for Mornington to go. 1-2 there. Oh, that's... Bit of good tackle from Malvern. Oh, that's a goal. Oh, he's missed. He's oh, missed. he was offside anyway, so the goal wouldn't have stood. Oh. But even so, I think he's uh, lucky for the Malvern attacker that the flag did go up because that would have been an embarrassing miss. Uh, Malvern's not at the moment. They, uh, they're they just not uh, concentrating. This is where Mornington needs to capitalise now. There's been times in uh, previous seasons where we've um, been on top in most games. Sides have um, been behind. Oh, that's a mix-up at the back. Still a chance. Just saying that uh, Mornington in previous seasons have been on top in games and uh, other sides have capitalised on their missed opportunities and it was nearly did there. Looped into the box. Oh. Could be a chance. It was uh, Amir. Mornington play a screen for the corner and they get it, which uh, does not please the Malvern players who uh, proceed to argue with the referee. Could this be the corner that leads to the first goal of the season and of the match? Well, this would be coming up to the seventh corner now, wouldn't it, Dolly? It would. Good nice ball. Pass in. Oh, too close to the keeper there. Most people look at nil nils as, uh, as being boring. This one certainly hasn't. Ball forward isn't brilliant. Oh, there's oh, not much in that. That is very soft. Sammy Yorick there. Oh, attack. the slide is missed. Oh, uh, he's already been booked. No up. Riff. He's already been booked. He needs to watch himself. Uh, Bennett there. We don't want a second yellow card. Ball played back. Oh, the attack was building there. Liam Baxter just, uh, just needed to regroup just a touch then. Yeah, there's still a little mistake. You just don't want to be making at this point. It's a great ball over the top. Oh, he's lobbed it over yeah. the goalkeeper. And maybe yeah. a little harshly. Great technique on the finish. But Malvin have a goal. It was just that one opportunity. There we go. Set it all the way through. Taylor Davidson came off his line. And uh, the attacker, to his credit, saw it. And he's uh, lobbed in with the plum there. Seconds of... Uh a lapse in concentration, yep. wasn't it, really? Uh, uh, that's what it was, Oli. Just a lapse. Better there from, uh, from Taylor, who has had a good game. Hasn't really looked troubled. Oh, and maybe another lapse there. It's an open fist. The referee sees nothing. Malvern players weren't happy at that decision whatsoever. And now the player's down. They've got to treat him. Tries to tend to him, um, Taylor, there. He did what he had to, Taylor. Tried to clear the ball and is, uh, unfortunately for Malvern, caught, uh, caught the man. Sammy Orrit. It's now on ever for Mornington. The referee's still not content. Bit of jostling going on in the box. Bit of a talking to from the referee to the players. Now on ever. So Orrit's actually moved off the ball. And it's going to be Amir, number 10. Amir Osmanovic. The substitute. Around. The first substitute that Mornington made. Whips the ball in, headed away. Smart. Oh, oh went for the, went for the hero moment. Oh, bit going on here. There is what's going to happen here. Bit of fire late in this game. Got a Malvern player down. Seagulls. Uh, Gemma, that's probably a hard loss to take there. 1-0 uh, down to Malvern, first game at, at, at home. Let's probably talk about the positives first. I um, Obviously, there was a few players out, quite a few injuries, a couple of suspensions that we learned about. 
first game under lights for the club. I thought the boys were pretty impressive. Yeah, look, uh, look I thought we were okay. I, I didn't think we were great. Um, we worked hard all night. Uh, we've gone into the game with probably three players that are well and truly underdone. You know, lucky to get through the last week and a half of training throughout the whole preseason, and um, it showed late on. I thought. Uh, yeah. Look, a silly goal to give away. Got done over the top. Um, when we've been pretty strong at the back all night, I thought. Um, yeah, look, disappointed to not get at least a result. I said to the boys, we've worked uh, worked our asses off out there tonight and not got a result. You know, I, I think a, dra a draw would have been okay for us to walk away with, and 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 bring back in probably three or four next week. So. Yeah. yeah. Uh, look, it's been a long off season. Obviously, the guys work hard and they they train. We've brought a lot of new players to the club. Uh, how, what are your expectations yourself and Nathan for the season? Look, I think we've got a really good squad. Um, at the moment, we're not hitting the back of the net. We're not um, we're not taking any chances that we've we've been given at all over the last sort of three, four preseason games. Um, so that's a little bit concerning. Um, but I think that comes with a bit of confidence. So once we hit one, um, I think we'll start to go on with it. Uh, our shape's pretty good at the back. So look, I, I, I actually think we're, we're a decent outfit. Mm. Um, it's now trying to get a bit of confidence and um, moving forward. But that comes with depth. Um, as I said, we're out on our legs tonight. Um, if we can get another couple of boys back next week, hopefully, hopefully three back next week, um, then with another couple uh, the, the following week, um, yeah, I think that puts pressure then on everyone and, and so on and builds. Look, some positive signs tonight. I think, you know, Josh and uh, Charlie at the back, the two centre-halves. Charlie, obviously, with his study, has been unable to train on the Thursday night, but I thought he was, again, fantastic tonight. And Josh got through maybe 80, 75, 80 minutes, uh, which yeah. is as long as he's played for, for quite a while. Yeah, well, you look at your two centre-halves and I think Josh Valadon's played 45 minutes uh, for the last seven weeks and Charlie Parker's played 45 minutes for the last seven weeks and you're going into a game with two centre-halves that have done that. You know, Andre Bennett's come in with a hamstring strain you know, two weeks ago and I thought he was outstanding tonight um, to get through like that. Uh, you know, he just he just said, I want to play, I want to do the right thing by the football club and, uh, and he was outstanding. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> performance, and not to take anything away from Malvern. We don't want to don't no. want to stand here and, no. and say that they deserve their result. There, that... Malvern, and you know, um, I thought first half they've had the penalty, we've saved it. I thought we should have probably had a penalty if you if you give the first one. I think the second one's there um, as well, and you just never know from there. Yeah, look, thank you. It's always hard coming in after any loss, but uh, especially after round one. So. Uh, from on behalf of the club, we wish you all the best for the for the season, and hopefully we can get a result next week. Yeah, thanks. thanks.